Hey guys, today I'm showing you what I'm going to be doing for my New Year's Eve showstopper. I'm creating a tower of profiteroles in champagne glasses and I'm going to be drizzling chocolate ganache over the top. It's going to be delicious. So to start, I'm going to show you how to make the shoe pastry. Really easy to make. Into a pan, I'm going to add in some water, some milk and some butter. A little bit of sugar to give it some sweetness and some salt. I'm just letting that butter melt over a medium heat. Now as soon as that comes to a boil, we're gonna have to work quick. So I've sifted my flour onto a piece of baking paper, that way I can chuck it in quickly. Now I've gotta work really quick. Use your spoon, stir that around until it forms a ball. So your pastry should look very shiny and very smooth and it should come away from the sides. That's when you know your pastry has gone right. They keep stirring and I like to take mine back onto the heat just to dry out the pastry a bit. I love making shoe pastry. Chocolate eclairs and profiteroles are one of my favorites. My dough is looking good. I'm going to place that into a separate bowl to let that cool for about five minutes. The last thing to do is to beat in my eggs. I'm gonna do these one at a time so it gets incorporated in well. I used to use a wooden spoon, but an electric beater is so much easier. So crack those in one at a time. Look how smooth and glossy my mixture is. It's perfect. I'm gonna pop that into a piping bag with a large round tip. I think this is a great way to celebrate New Year. You can have a massive tower of profiteroles, drizzle over the chocolate, and then everyone can take a bit. So now I'm going to pipe this onto my baking tray. I've just lined that with some baking paper to stop them from sticking. These don't need to be big at all, just small rounds as they puff up in the oven. If you have any points sticking up at the top, just tap those down with a bit of water on the tip of your finger. And that's them done. They can now go into the oven while we make the ganache. Ganache is so easy to make, but I think it takes chocolate to the next level. Adding in that double cream makes it so much more luxurious. When we pour it over the profiteroles, it's gonna be lovely and runny, and when it sets, it's just the best thing to bite into. I have some double cream in a pan. I'm gonna let that heat up. You don't want it to boil, though. My cream is hot and it's steaming, it's done, and it's ready to be poured over my chocolate. Now I've chopped that really finely so it'll be a lot easier to melt. And that is the ganache done. It's so simple and it's ready to be poured on top of those profiteroles. If it thickens before you start to pour, you can just melt that back up again. I'm gonna add that into a nice jug. My first batch of profiteroles are out of the oven and they're cooled. Now it's time to get filling with the delicious whipped double cream. I've just popped that into a piping bag with a small round tip. I like to make sure mine are bursting at the seams. Just want to repeat that with the rest of your profiteroles. Ganache is made, profiteroles are done. Time to get building the tower. So that's how you make my New Year's Eve showstopper profiterol tower easy.